What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today we're gonna be reacting to more content from Clown World. So let's hop into it and real quick, real quick, just so y'all know, you're gonna be seeing this a lot more this week because I need a retwist, so I don't wanna hear nothing about it. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, all right, first thing to be getting into. Hiker lost for 24 hours Ignored calls from rescuers because of unknown number. <laughs> yeah. This is like, it was, I think it was from Clown World last time where the woman charged, like, what was it, seven, eight hundred dollars an hour to teach this generation right here how to talk on the phone? I told you, I'm in the wrong business. Because maybe if I had a business teaching people to not be scared of phone calls, <laughs> this hiker wouldn't have been lost for 24 hours. <laughs> it only makes sense. You're lost, why not just answer the phone? You don't know who's gonna be on the other end. It could have been anybody. You, and you could have, also if you're getting phone calls, call for help. That don't make sense either, that don't make sense. <laughs> All right, we got a TikTok video, let's see. It says, only in LA, solar panels for tents. No. <laughs> I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. It'd always be the blue states where it'd be looking like this too. Like, don't get me wrong. Okay. Homelessness is everywhere, right? You can't, you can't stop it. But the blue states, they have it the worst. I remember when I went to LA, we went out there for E3. <laughs> Downtown LA is trash. It is garbage, y'all. Okay, I would never recommend ever going down there. Now the, the coinciding cities that surround LA, beautiful, love it. Go to those places. Downtown LA, if you aren't specifically going for a convention or a Lakers game, you really have no reason to go down there. I promise you. It smelled like pee and it's just a bunch of homeless people. New York at the time, see, they didn't clean New York up a little bit because of the pandemic. But when I went, like, and I went a bunch of times to New York too, it smelled like pee everywhere. It was disgusting. <laughs> Looks like we have another homeless video. We can't help our own, but we can send billions of money overseas. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I had a conversation with my brother one day. We were talking about a lot of stuff, right? And the topic of Ukraine came up. And he was like, I, I find it interesting because you're Christian from a Christian perspective. You don't want to send money to help people. And I was like, first off, we need to help home first. Why aren't we helping the people here? We have like a huge homeless problem. And it's why I, I used homeless people as the example. And I was just like, why are we saying, oh, we ain't got money for that. We can't do this. We can't do X, Y, or Z here in America. But yet we keep sending billions and millions of dollars to Ukraine. And then when he looked at me and, I, and then I got into like a whole political history thing outside of that. But to not get into that in this video, I was like, I don't understand. Like I, I would never understand as the United States of America, we always got to feel like we got to be in everybody else's business and send money to all these other places. But yet, look at the people that live right here in America and be like, oh yeah, sorry, I ain't got the money to help you with that. Sorry. You know, I'll, I'll never understand our government. It's crazy. Yo, this is nuts. It says a New Jersey art teacher overdoses on fentanyl in front of middle school students. No. I, I, why? Why were you doing drugs? at the school to begin with. I'll say this, if you know, cause who, who is it? Um, somebody, a female rapper just died recently. I can't remember her name. I think she was from Project Pat. And her and her brother died, I think, or just her, but it was from fentanyl. Y'all, if you do drugs, man, you gotta start leaving that alone. It's not good for you. It's bad. Like, all of it is bad. Especially now with fentanyl, just the smallest amount could take you out. And then they starting to mix it in with the other drugs now. I won't trust nothing. Even if you're a weed smoker, it got to the point where when this started getting big, 
Because um, the few times I, I did smoke weed, it was like, when I tell you super random once in a blue moon, it was very super random. But it'd be like my friends would be like, oh, yeah, I know somebody who sells it and blah, blah, blah. So you smoke. once this became a thing, once fentanyl became a thing, I was just like, I don't trust nothing from nobody. Like, if it didn't come from a dispensary, because at least if it comes from a dispensary, it's like my family could sue somebody and get some money. You can't sue some random stranger. You don't know where it came from, right? I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Let me just stop smoking weed altogether, even though I didn't really smoke it to begin with. But I'm, it don't take much to get me to stop stuff, stop doing stuff. But if that's something you do, you, you got to stop. Or if you know family or friends, try your best to put them on the right path of getting off all this and getting clean because it's not worth it. All right, y'all, this is funny. It's when the price is right. It says how I feel when I have to scroll down to the year I was born. Yo, Loki, that's how I'm starting to feel now. And it'd be like, what year were you born? And I I feel like I'd be scrolling forever now. I can't even imagine how people born when my mama was born feeling. Because they got to scroll even further. <laughs> Alright, so we have another one. Looks like this is from the royal family. I'm going to be real with y'all. I do not keep up to date with any of that. Because I really don't care about them. To be real with you. Um, I noticed somebody... I think it was a female subscriber asked me twice what I thought about Meghan Markle. Like I said, I don't keep up with their news. The little bit that I know, she seems like a psychopath and uh, Harry seems like uh, a soy boy from the little bit of, the, of them that I know. And I guess I'm not that far off because I guess the people that keep tabs of all their news think the same thing. So I guess we all on the same page about that. It says... My family helped to drive out Meghan. Harry launches another extraordinary attack on the royal family, branding them abusers in TV interview that is likened to taking a flamethrower to them. It's funny because I actually saw a clip of this earlier where he claimed that his family never said anything racist about his son, but I could have swore whenever they had the baby or was about to have a baby because it was like big headline news Megan said they asked her about the color of his skin because they didn't want to give him a title if, if he came out black. I could have sworn. Wasn't that a thing when that happened? So I, I'm just like, bro, aren't you sound like you lying right now? Because I could have sworn that was a thing. See, I don't know. This is why I don't care about what they do. This is the part of the royal family I don't care about. We going to get on their heads. Let's get on their heads about all the stuff they done stole throughout all the, the years and generations. That's that's what the news I care about. These two, didn't they say they didn't want to be part of the family anymore anyways? Kick them out, move on. They shouldn't even be headlines of stories anymore. Uh-oh, we got something from the president. We got something from POTUS. Says, my administration is using the tools available to limit illegal migration. Expand legal pathways to immigration and increase security. The approach we're taking is based on a model we know works. But to truly fix our broken immigration system, Congress needs to act, sir. I actually read something the other day where they showed the numbers of how many people had crossed the border when Trump was in office and how many people crossed the border with Biden in office. Now, Biden's uh, was the press secretary. It's that black lady where she always be mad when the press asks her questions. Uh, she she came out and was just like we have we have the um, best security at the border ever. Everything at the border is fine because they always be getting on them. They be like, how come Biden not going down there? How come he's not handling all the issues down there? Oh, it's fine. We hold the best numbers. And then somebody put it up where in reality they don't have the best numbers. Their numbers are atrocious. It's okay. Well, whatever you say, Sleepy Joe. Whatever you say. Uh, here we go. This is actually old. I don't know why they just put this up recently, but this is extremely old. It says, model slams horse ranch for refusing to let her ride horses due to her weight. Uh, ma'am. Yes, that's for the horse's safety. Oh, they can only carry a, a certain load amount. Because you, you got to think about it. You on their back, essentially. That's what you, you ride on that you put the saddle on. You put too much on their back, they, they going down. You, you won't hurt them. So this ain't, because she came out at the time, they said I was too fat, blah, blah, blah. And one of the people who worked there, he did come out and say he may have told her a little too harshly about her weight. 
But the reality is, even if somebody was nice about it, you wouldn't have been able to ride that horse anyway. So, I, What is this? The Satanic Temple dedicating largest Satanic gathering in history to Boston Mayor? Is, is Boston's mayor a Satanist? Is this what I'm getting from this? Will require masks. Even when doing pure evil, you still must wear wear your face diaper. <laughs> Can I click on this? Oh, okay, it's just a picture. I thought that was the link to let me in. This is sick and crazy. The fact that you're even allowed to have this temple. Well, y'all know, y'all know who Boston's uh, mayor be rocking out with. <laughs> just, just off of this. It says, bro, this is our nurse. We gonna die. Ain't no way that's real. This can't be real. Look at his face. <laughs> she filming little dance TikToks. She's supposed to be working. Look at his face. He's like, did you see this? Did you see what I gotta deal with? She's supposed to be checking my vitals. Is she up here just like, mmm. <laughs> Yo, I, this gotta be a skit. This can't be real. But if this is real, the lawsuit I would file, I would just start sitting there and I'd be like, hey, yo, film me. And I'd just start convulsing while she's doing that just to have it on tape. Bit, uh, man, the lawsuit. The lawsuit I would have off of that. Ah, China suspends social media accounts criticizing COVID policies. Am I shocked that they're doing this in China? No. Do I believe this is gonna start making its way some point to America? Yes, yes it is. If y'all don't know, they have um, bikes over there now. You guys know how we have the e-bikes and you can rent it uh, just using like PayPal or your credit card or whatever. You show the QR code off your phone. Over in China, they have services now using the, the social credit score, right? It scans your face. And based off of scanning your face, it could pull all your info, including the money you have, and it lets you rent this bike. And I saw a video on it, a person was like, oh, this is so cool, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. It's not cool. That's how they gonna control everything. This, this is slowly gonna trickle over to the US. I promise you, I promise you it's gonna start doing that at some point. It may not be now, but a few years from now, maybe a decade or so, we gonna start getting this. We gonna start getting this because we already getting um, them suppressing information and stuff that we saw from the Twitter files. They be trying to talk about, oh, it's just conspiracy theory. Uh, Elon lying. Elon was not lying. Rather odd, the very same people who are throwing the word groomer around at the one on the left are defending the one on the right from that accusation. It's almost as if they don't care about actual real grooming. Hmm. And then, of course, over here, it says this is not what a groomer looks like. And they're showing a drag queen at story hour for kids. And then this is what a groomer looks like, Andrew Tate. How is Andrew Tate a groomer? He runs a sex cam business with grown women. How was that grooming? Okay. Pimping? Sure. Grooming? Nah. This, look, let's go back. This is, you wonder why we toss the word groomer around to them? Why do you want kids around drag so bad? Why do you want them at drag shows? Why do you want to try to start incorporating drag anything with children? Why? Why do you want to do that so bad? And then you have Antifa. They be like protecting all of them with their little guns and stuff. But yet there's been reports where a bunch of people that claim they're part of Antifa ended up being da 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 pedos. Who would have thought, you know, it's just, just the people with common sense, we knew that, but hey, you know, I guess, I guess the people that be like, we're on the right side of history, they stand in with people like this right here. It don't even make any sense. And it, it's coming out showing that they're groomers and pedos and all this other stuff. And, and they'd be like, well, don't call them that. The new term is maps. You got to call them maps. 
No, they're pedos. Like, just stop. It's, it's sick and it's gross. You can't put that on a grown man that's doing stuff with grown women. That don't even make sense. Yep, and just to fall in line with what I just said, after hours, RuPaul Drag Race Show offers free tickets to children under eight. Why do you want children eight and under at an after hours drag show? Why? That's adult entertainment. Why? And then you wonder, then they'd be like, why do you, why are they calling us groomers and pedos? Cause you acting like one, that's weird. That is extremely weird. Uh oh, uh oh, this is where the, the conspiracy theorist starts. Study using mosquitoes to deliver vaccines has Chinese researchers buzzing. This, you telling me they not gonna bring this to the US? Why are you using mosquitoes to deliver the vaccine? This is how they gonna get all the unvaxxed people here in America. This is how they gonna do it, I'm telling you right now. They gonna inject it into mosquitoes, maybe even bees, right? I th wasn't there a Black Mirror episode about that where they, they controlled the bees, all the bees were robots or something? See, all this stuff is coming real. But <laughs> they gonna do that here in America and then say you unvaccinated, you outside, you're actually getting fresh air and touching grass and then you, you just like start swarming around you, you'd be like, ah, I got, it looks like I got bit or whatever. You don't think anything of it. Now you got the vaccine. Now it's all in your bloodstream and it, what you didn't want, now you got it. I guarantee you this is coming to America. Don't, don't even hit me with the, you sound crazy. Nope. I, I promise you if it's starting over there, it's going to trickle over here. It always does. All right. Because this is getting a little bit long, we are going to end it right here maybe i might do one more after this does you know what Let, this is the second to last we'll do one more after this and i'll find a good one uh female 24 5 5 was 124 pounds okay that's not bad for 5 5. she went to 311 pounds so she gained 187 pounds in three years put on weight to show women could be beautiful no matter what oh oh no Hold that L. Uh, you gotta hold it. Uh, why did you do that? No, that's crazy. Oh no, you ruined yourself to make a point that you didn't even make because you looked better when you were skinnier. Also, the fact you you weigh that much at your size, at, or I should say, I'm sorry, at your height. You're gonna look way bigger than 311 because of your height and how it's being distributed based on your height. Your BMI is probably like off the charts at this point. Your health, I can't even imagine what your health is. You destroyed yourself for like nothing. <sighs> Don't do this. Don't do this. I know I had somebody make that comment before saying uh, they were obese by 12 and they was it, was, it had been 10 years and I hope they got healthy and they were skinny. And if not, please get healthy, right? I always say this. You don't have to be as skinny as me, right? I look skinnier than what I really am just because of my height. I'm For a girl, I'm pretty tall. I'm 5'8 and a half, right? I'm, I, I carry myself at 115 uh, pounds. So, I don't know. That was my weight in high school and that's still my weight now. I don't know why. I don't gain anything because I love cooking and eating but I just maintain this I, I'm also very active so I guess that balances into there but you don't have to be my size it really depends on what your height is right you need to find the BMI that works for you and the weight that works for you where you are also still healthy because my BMI will straight up say I'm not healthy right just because of how skinny I am at my height, but I'm actually fine if I go to the doctor. My doctor says I'm very healthy. So, um, mm, mm -mm. she ruined herself for like nothing. Don't let feminism do this to you. This is complete stupidity. Don't let it do this to you. All right, y'all, we're gonna end it right here. This is officially the last one. It says Canadian doctor who's euthanized 400 proudly shares how she helped kill man, another medic deemed incapable of choosing assisted suicide. As obstetrician reveals, she's helped 300 to die in controversial program. That's sad.
and that's an L. Look at them. Oh, they have a picture of the euthanized. Okay, I'm going to actually block that out on my end because I don't want y'all to see the picture of the euthanized person. But you see this woman right here? And you see this one right here? Those are what demons look like. Those are what demons look like. And they happy about it. To sit there and proudly be like, oh, yeah, I helped kill 400 people. Why? Why did you do it? The fact that another medic said the person was incapable of choosing if they should die or not. You still did it? That's evil. That's pure evil. And I want you to look at their faces right here. These are the faces of demons. Straight evilness. We did a uh, video on my channel before. It, it talked about the program in Canada. They call it MAID. It's, it's basically assisted suicide. And anybody can get there. They were really pushing it hard on people who are in poverty. So if you're struggling to make it, you have people literally signing up because they were broke. People signing up because maybe they were dealing with uh, certain like back pain issues and they just couldn't, they didn't have the money to buy the pills. So they were just like, F it, I don't want to live with the back pain or whatever was wrong with them. It's sad. And it's sad that their government is like heavily pushing it. And we watched it. There was a video where a woman who was handicapped Hit, like she was part of one of the medical programs in Canada. And she was like, hey, um, I still haven't received my wheelchair ramp yet. What's going on with that? And they was like, oh, well, you know, you don't really qualify for us to be paying for that. But if that's a problem, we could sign you up for MAID. And she was like, excuse me? I didn't call here to kill myself. I called here for a wheelchair ramp. And she got mad and rightfully took it to the news. Right? But the government ain't going to do nothing. They, their response is to tell people if they're broke and don't have it, is to just off themselves, which is the saddest thing in the world. That girl, it's so funny. Back in the day, people used to be like, oh, Canada's so nice. I, I, I can't wait to go to Canada. They're great. Canada evil now. I don't care what nobody say. They seem super evil. I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> Crazy how, how uh, the face of a, a country changes just so fast. Just so fast. <laughs> it's like, it's insane but that's gonna be the episode let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you're never gonna drop a video and check the community tabs from time to time so you can stay up to date with everything that i got going on over here and just another reminder tonight i start my live stream schedule so moving forward every monday and tuesday at 7 p.m est that is eastern standard time I will be going live right here on YouTube, Monday and Tuesday, okay? If you guys ever want me to add Thursday into the mix, just let me know and I'll add Thursday. But at this moment, Monday and Tuesday, every Monday and Tuesday, just so you guys are aware, okay? I will see you tonight at 7 p.m. And until then, you already know who it is. It's Sam.